Welcome back, folks. We're still uh, recording our album at the Fidelitorium Studios in Kernersville, North Carolina. And so I figured I'd take some time and talk about another rhythm that we use a lot in blues and in hard swimming fish. And that is coming out of our last lesson, which was the 6-8. And this is a variation on that called the shuffle. So we're going to start off again with our cycle, our counting cycle of six. But instead of playing all six notes on the ride cymbal, we're going to omit a couple of them. So we're going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, As in the 6-8 pattern, we're going to keep our tambourine playing on the backbeat or on the 4. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For the time being, we're going to keep our cajon playing the same as in our last lesson in the 6-8. So we're going to have a bass drum on one, a snare drum on four, and another bass drum on six. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this is by no means the only pattern you can play in the shuffle, but it is a good starting place, and you'll find other uh, other variations from there. The other thing I want to mention is that although I'm demonstrating all these on the cajon and the cymbal tambourine setup. Uh, these same patterns apply, apply to your drum set, so uh, all you have to do really is to transfer what's happening on the cajon, which we're playing the bass and the snare, and then just apply that to your right foot for the bass drum and your left hand for the snare drum. So uh, you can work it out in two different ways. That's how uh, I actually came to a lot of this stuff, first by playing it on the drum set and then assimilating it to the new setup, which works really well in situations that are a little bit quieter maybe. So. This, uh, the basic shuffle, and I'm going to play it just a little bit faster than I just demonstrated it to get the, a little bit more of the flavor of the shuffle, goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. <laughs> Another thing that I use often is playing the hands exactly in conjunction with another. So both hands are going to be playing 6, 1, 3, 4. 6, 1, 3, 4. So I'll just split it up. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're still just leaving that uh, uh, the snare drum, the backbeat on the 4. And the rest of the notes are going to be played on the bass, but that is not the only way that you can do it. You can split it, you know, two on the bass, two on the snare, all of them on the snare. The variety that you can get in terms of your voices that you use is up to you. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, here we go. <laughs>
noticed, I did a lot of variation on the cajon, but all of it was still right in line with what's happening on the ride cymbal. And as long as you stay within that rhythmic structure, uh, you can use a whole lot of variety in terms of your voices, and that's what will give your, your, uh, your rhythm a particular flavor for the song that you are actually playing. So uh, that's a way that I like to vary uh, the rhythm or the, the tonality of the rhythm quite a bit. And another thing that we want to keep in mind is that this rhythm comes out of that 6-8 that we did in our last lesson, so you can mix and match the two. So we can start off with our shuffle rhythm and then go into a more 6-8 where we fill in all the notes and back and forth between the two. So I'll play a little bit and show you what, uh, what it's like to go back and forth between the two sides of the same rhythm. Again, as in our 6-8, I often use uh, the bell of the cymbal to uh, create different accents within the pattern. So again, we'll get another counter melody within this melody. And again, mixing and matching, going back and forth between the shuffle and the 6-8. One, two, ready, and... So again, let's go check out another tune that uses mainly the shuffle, but then goes back and forth and has uh, some of that 6-8 uh, thrown in, and see how those accents are used within this specific context of a song to bring out the rhythm of the melody that's already in place. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Chicago, never saw New York City. Oh, yeah. 